Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here's a problem. A girl has Turner syndrome, the girl, her brother and their two uncles have a disease where they lack the enzyme phosphate dehydrogenase which is the recessive X link, which X chromosome from the parents is the girl missing in this condition. A little bit strange wording here, but uh, basically the question ask from which side this girl got this defective X chromosome from the mother side or father side. And also we have to find her uncles which has a disease whether from mother side or father side. First of all, what is the Turner syndrome? Take a look at this picture and it basically lists all the symptoms here and female can get this condition when she missed one X chromosome. So instead of having genotype two X chromosomes, just like any other normal female, this female has only one X chromosome inherited whether from the mother side or father side. And from the other parent, she doesn't get another X chromosome. So her phenotype would be different from the normal and her genotype we say would be X or X or genotype and O here stands for the zero. Okay, what we know about this family, we know that this female, so he is a female whose genotype and phenotype is defective. She has only one X chromosome which is defective and I'm going to use red color to specify this defective X chromosome and she is missing another chromosome. So blank space and we also can put zero here. So this is her genotype. She has only one defective X chromosome, but her brother also affected with this genetic disorder. That means that his genotype is also defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome which I'm going to show with green color. And they have parents and nothing is said about their parents. Of course, their parents have to be of the different sex. And we don't know where the uncles who are also affected with this genetic disorder come from the mother side or from the father side, being brothers of the father or being brothers of the mother. This problem actually very easy to solve. We just have to suggest, for example, that father may have defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome, or his genotype can be, for example, normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And their mother can be, have two normal X chromosomes, or may have defective X chromosome and normal X chromosome. So her phenotype would be normal in this case. And if father would have this defective X chromosome, he would be affected with this genetic disorder just like his son. But again, our problem doesn't say anything about phenotype of the parents, but we still can solve this problem. Take a look. Let's suggest that uh, genotype of the father is going to be defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And genotype of the mother would be two normal X chromosomes. And what picture we can see in their progeny. We just built simple Punnett square and let's take a look what we are going to see here. Defective X chromosome from the father side and normal X chromosome from the mother side. Defective X chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side, normal X chromosome from the mother side and normal Y chromosome from the father side. So now as you see, if father is going to have this defective X chromosome, none of his sons is going to have it, is going to inherit it because from the father, all the sons going to inherit only Y chromosome and none of the daughters also is going to be affected with this genetic disorder because they have another X chromosome and this is X chromosome 
uh, X link recessive genetic disorder, but this female has only one X chromosome. And if, for example, she is going to miss X chromosome from the mother side and is going to get only X chromosome from the father side, she can get this genetic disorder. But again, this doesn't explain how this son of this couple may get this X chromosome, defective uh, X chromosome from the father side. No way. So we have to exclude this variant. And now let's take a look. Let's build another Punnett square. This time, let's say that mother has this genetic disorder. She is carrier. Another X chromosome would be normal. And her phenotype would be normal because this is recessive genetic disorder. And father genotype is going to be normal X, normal Y chromosome. Again, we built simple Punnett square. Let's take a look what we're going to see in the progeny. Defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal X chromosome from the father side. Defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side. Normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal X chromosome from the father side. Normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side. Now, as you see, if mother is going to be a carrier of this genetic disorder, her son can get this recessive genetic disorder, but because males has only one X chromosome, this male would be affected. So now we know that genotype of the mother is going to be defective X chromosome and normal X chromosome. So what happened with their daughter? She got this defective X chromosome from her mother's side. This female also have to get another X chromosome from the father's side, but she got none. She got 22 autosomes from the father's side and none of the sex chromosomes, none of the X. So her genotype is X O and she has this Turner syndrome and her brother got this defective X chromosome again from his mother's side. So from his mother's side and he got this normal Y chromosome from his father's side. Now, when we know that this defective X chromosome came from the mother's side, we also can say that two uncles would be her brothers. So his one brother who is uh, going to be affected with this genetic disorder, his genotype would be defective X and normal Y chromosome. And his another brother whose genotype is also going to be defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And one last note would be that we notate this genetic condition as 45 X zero. That means that this female got 22 autosomes from the mother side and X chromosome. And from the father side, she got 20 to autosomes and she didn't got X chromosome. And normal karyotype of the person is going to be 46, like for example, in the case of her brother, X, Y. And phenotypically normal female would be 46, X, X. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.